Boo. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the next exciting episode of Hands On with BLG. I'm BLG, I'm Lefty, and I am Righty. I got a request uh, on one of my shows uh, to make a tropical um, fruitcake. So I'm going to go for it. I haven't really made one before. I uh, did a little researching. Here's what I came up with. Scribbled down a couple of notes from a couple of different sites. <laughs> so, uh, for the best I can tell, this is going to make two. I was up at 4.30 this morning getting our dried tropical fruits. Right, y'all? I said to put your dried fruits in a bowl, add one cup of grapefruit, grape juice, this stuff, grape juice, and let them soak for two hours. Well, I put one cup in and it only covered half. So I put two cups in and it covered them. So I'm going to make two loaves. <laughs> I got my oven preheated to 320. I got two bread pans all greased up, ready to go. Um, I think I've got everything else we need. So let's get over here and jump into this, shall we? Go in here, get you all set up here. That looks pretty good. I'm trying to work pretty quick. Uh, the dried mix, this is, I just bought at the store dried fruit mix. It was over in the produce. 13 ounces of dried tropical fruits. This one has um, kiwi and mango chunks and papaya and star fruit and dried strawberries dried pineapple. I think that's about it. I also got some regular raisins right here. I'm going to use one box per each one of the loaves. I'm setting up for one loaf. I'm going to show you how to do one loaf and then I'll do the other one by myself. Uh, one cup of packed brown sugar. We got some crushed nuts. These are optional. I just bought one of these things. Uh, pecan halves and I just smushed them around in the bag. <laughs> I'm going to use half of this in each loaf. Um, got a little bit of lemon juice. We're going to put just a splash in. We've got our baking powder lit and set up here, ready to go. Um, some cinnamon, just a touch of nutmeg right here. And each one of these is going to use three eggs, so we're going to need six total. And uh, flour is over there behind me. So I think we're set to go. And it says to grease pans, got that. Preheat oven, 320, got that. One cup of softened flour per loaf. <laughs> so, in here. I've got two cups of butter. That's four sticks. That's going to be two sticks per loaf. So let's put a cup of this in here. Or into the bowl. Into, let's put, let's put. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in. Get out of there. Uh, put that in here. This off of me. Got another one. Uh, we'll take this one in here. All right. Put him in here. Mm. I may have got him a little bit soft. Is in starting to melt, but <laughs> we're gonna work with what we got. Get out of there, please. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Get all that off my fingers. Hot, hot water. Come on, get hot. Come on, get hot. There we go. Ooh, slimy butter. Okay, so it says to put that in there and get them fluffy. I'm gonna use the batter, the beater thing paddle and I want to kick that on one and then ease it up to two beat fluffy all right <laughs> we'll do that beat knit fluffy then we're going to do three whole eggs into here it's getting fluffy it's getting fluffy three whole eggs three whole eggs two of these things these here and some stuff like these chopped nuts and stuff. Yes, it's still December. There's the crease mossy house. You can't see them. Ding, 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 ding. It's still here. <laughs> Haven't pitched it out yet. Nope. That's fluffy. Okay. Then we got three whole, mm -hmm. three whole eggs. Right? Beat fluffy. Three whole eggs. I'm trying to sneak up on the back side here. I'm not getting any um, shells in here. 
left-handed egg cracking. Smart. <laughs> nice. So far, three eggs. Smart. <laughs> Nicely done. No shell at all. Just like that. Three eggs. Now let me get set these outside here. I'm trying to get it so you can keep seeing. Keep peeking here. Yeah, we're okay. Don't you like that? Okay. So I'm gonna beat these in here, I guess. Beat them in there real good. Okay. Put our three whole eggs. Yeah, that's looking good. Now we put our cup of brown sugar in. Oh, blop. <laughs> One cup of brown sugar. Beat that around, just like so. That's what it says, anyway. Then we're going to put just a little bit of lemon juice. It says to zest the lemons and some, and some orange zest. I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice. We'll cap like that. Oh, you know what? Just a second. I think I got something over here. Let me see if I can find it. I got just a little bit of orange extract. I'm going to put a couple of drops. One, two, three, four. Five drops of orange extract. That's what we'll do. That'll take care of that. Okay. Kick that around a little bit. Beat that around a little bit. I keep the orange extract on hand because I make them conversation candy hearts like Neko Company does for like Valentine's Day. I make those. I'll show you how sometime here too. I'm getting an anchor in for some. I'll do like a half batch or something. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what do we got? A pinch of cinnamon. We'll do that. A little shake of cinnamon. Wow. Okay, maybe a big one. A little bit of pinch of nutmeg, it says. We'll put a little bit of nutmeg in here. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say how much, just a pinch. And we're going to do one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. That's going to be about like that much. Dwarf. One teaspoon of baking powder. Beat it for one minute. <laughs> Guys, no. Don't go there. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> there we go. Do -do -do -do. Let that go for one minute. Mm. Okay. Then we're going to do our um, half a little thing of chopped nuts right there. About half of this pack is going to go in here. That's what it says. So I'm going to put my half packet in here. Chop nuts. About like that. Right around they go. <coughs> and the chopped nuts are optional. Round and around we go. Round and around we go. Just like this. That's looking pretty good. In fact, I want my spatula thing. Look at my little blue fella. <laughs> Look at my cute little blue fella. Let me poke this down. I mean, it's not, what, stuck horribly or anything, but I just want to poke it down in here to make sure I get in a little extra oomph in there. You know what I mean? I'm going to set that over there. Did you want to go outside again? You didn't go puppy, go outside. Cute little baby puppy. Now we're talking. Okay. We got the chopped nuts. Now we're going to put one and a half cups of flour, but we're going to do it in three stages. So that should be pretty easy. I'm using my half cup thingy again in the flour here. See? Half cup. So that ought to be easy. We'll put one. That's a half. <laughs> Get 
that mixed in. Just on one. Just going to do it on one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Set Oh, the oven came up to 320 a little while ago, too. I don't know if you heard it go beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Hey, that's looking pretty cool. I'm just knocking down the sides. Then I'm going to give it another half. So that's that's cool. So there's going to be boy, come on, get a whole thing, scrape them off, get them back here, mm, somewhere there. So that's one cup, and the second installment. Set him on one, let him go slow. Let him go slow. Alright, now I'm going to back down the sides again. Smack him down here in the bowl. Just getting a little bit of extra flour off the heel. Now this thing said to line your bowl, this thing, the pan, butter it and line it with parchment. I'm not going to worry about that, folks. I've had good luck with these pans and greasing them up right so they just plops right out. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's get our last half cup in here. Boy, that was just a touch shy. Not that much. There we go. There is our cup and a half of flour in here, just like so. I'm gonna let that mix in on slow speed on one. I know, shut it off, it's gonna take it away and try to stab me again. <laughs> poke that down, poke that down, poke that down, make it look good. Wow, I got a deep voice today. Hi, I'm righty. I got a real deep voice today. <laughs> cool. So we get for waking up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> you get a deep voice like this. That's looking pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, it's the fog machine, sorry. Call it Christmas fog. Alright, now what we're going to do, I want to take, I want to do this. Who with this thing? I'm going to take this spoon with the holes in it. Right? This is going to be cool. What I want to do, Ooh. I want to knock this down into the bowl, not onto the counter, into the bowl, <laughs> like this, into the bowl, yes, alright, now I want to take about half of these fruits out of here, like so, strain them some, and in here they go. A little bit more of these would be half, I would say. Not like that. A little bit more. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> I'm say that's all of those. I'm going to add one box of these raisins. Just because I can, because I got them. They were cheap. Um, if they'll come out, I'll add them. Still in there. You know how you used to be a kid and you used to pick raisins? Well, you get to do it as a grown up now. Come on, get out of the fucking box. Just cooperate, you bastards. Come in from the backside. There we go. Okay. We add these in here. <coughs> There's a raisin turn. Oh, well, it's gone. I'm going to mix that up a little bit. We are still going. Yes, yes, good. And how many minutes though? Fourteen. This thing is going to shut off on me in about five minutes. It always does. So we have the fruit mixed in, right? Now we're just going to put it in the pan here. And uh, I'm going to make another loaf. Just like this. We're going to put it in the pan. And I'm going to make up another batch just like it. I'm going to put it in that pan over here. And uh, then into the oven they're going to go uh, 320 degrees for about one hour and ten minutes. Then you take them out uh, on a bread or a cooling rack and cool them. I'll show you when they uh, 
I'll show you when they come out. <laughs> so I'll see you back here in about one hour and ten minutes. Probably about one hour and twenty because I gotta mix another batch. So in the pan, I'm gonna make up the other one and cook them both at the same time. Center rack, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. See you back here in about one hour and twenty minutes. There you go, folks. I figured I'd just show you what they look like all settled into their little baking bread pans. Ready to go in the 320 degree oven. That right back here, I can't see. There, see? 320 Fahrenheit. So we're going to pop them in the oven. I just figured I'd show you what they look like. So we can pop them in here. Center rack, like I said. Side by side. Just like this here. Give them a little bit of room between them so they can circulate. In the oven they go. Now we'll see you back here <laughs> in one hour and ten minutes. We'll see what these puppies look like. <laughs> okay? We'll see you then. We will see you then. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Hello, folks. We are back. It has been one hour and ten minutes. And with great effort and breaking one cake almost in half directly, trying to get them flipped, <laughs> we have success. We're having a fruit cake, a tropical fruit cake. Look at that. Two loaves of fruit cake. Um, there you have it. Um, and these are going to go in the mail to the person that requested them to see if they like fruitcake. I don't like it myself, <laughs> but it sure was fun to make it. And you can make this too. It's easy. You Now you've watched how. So there. Here, look at the happy house again. Dink, 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 dink. It's the first day of winter. That it is. And it's going to be 49 degrees here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Up here in the Pensacola area. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> There's this new man being weird over there on the floor. <laughs> but anyways, there's our episode for this time around. I hope you liked it. Um, if you like fruitcake or you really want to piss somebody off, make you a couple of loaves of these and put them in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, personally, I would throw these in the garbage now. They're done. But, uh, like I said, I don't eat them. Maybe you do. So anyways, I hope you liked the episode. We'll see you guys back here for the next exciting episode of Hands On with BLG. I'm changing out a ceiling fan in the bedroom at the moment while I'm doing this because I like to do too many things at once. So anyways, uh, for BLG, I'm BLG, I suppose. <laughs> and I'm lefty. And I am righty. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, by the way, see, this is what I was talking about in the painting one. Uh, I think I showed you that before. That's what the painting one is kind of inspired from. Is this big ass three and a half foot by ten foot mural? See, there's that in the dining room, and here's this one that we painted on the show. It's just smaller. <laughs> so there you go. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Um, I'll get this spliced in, put together probably sometime after I get the ceiling fan done, or this afternoon, sometime or another. It'll be up today later. Goodbye. <laughs>